Hello, hi everyone. This is Yemaya Renuka at the Embrace.life. It's been a little while. I've been nurturing the people that have been on the boat with me on the Grief to Love program. That's why you haven't seen me uh, for a couple of weeks, two or three weeks now. I've been uh, making sure that everybody was onboarding in the right way and uh, we're on week three of the program now. I'll let you know when we have a a new group but what I really wanted to talk to you about today was um, how do we recognize if those are the feelings that we generate from ourselves or the feelings that we are picking up from the collective um, there's a lot of things that are really stirred up for everyone right now of course and there is a lot of depression and anxiety some of you might um, you know have your empathic um, abilities really waking up. Some of you might be new practitioners of the healing arts. Some of you are just people like me, you know, you've been working in the healing arts for a long time and you need a good reminder. So I just felt inspired today to share with you what I would call, you know, how do I recognize if these are my feelings or not? So first of all, you might have a way to check in with yourself. Perhaps you use, um, um, Kine um, kinesiology is that the right word when you you know like muscle testing yes or you're using a pendulum or you have a certain way of asking your your intuition but we don't always you know think about you know like you know you might be walking in the morning going like oh, I'm feeling so depressed I'm just feeling so depressed so anxious you know and something is not right you can feel inside you there is something that's not right so I would check on three things First, is this my feeling? Are these feelings mine? So using whatever, you know, like I, I use kinesiology, you know, um, I guess that's the right term, <laughs> um, you know, where I put my, my fingers like this on my left hand and then my other index and thumb and then I pull, you know, if, if it resists, but it's a yes. If it's a no, then it opens up, yeah? I've learned to trust it. I didn't always trust it, but I'm trusting it now. I've been for this last uh, couple of years specifically. Um, so first, okay, are these my feelings? If the answer is no, then let's do a clearing. You know, go sit, meditate on your cushion, run some gold. Gold is the color that, you know, would neutralize something that doesn't belong in your field. Um, you know, you might want to do um, some salt water, you know, like look, looking at salt water or um, just any adjustments that you have in your tool bag to shift that energy, to let it go. You know, it can just be an affirmation of like, I let go of what is not mine now and just go to wash your hands and this is not mine, I let go of it. You know, maybe smudge yourself. Um, so that's the first one. Second, are these feelings mine? Yes. Okay, there's something important to know. Are these feelings current feelings or are they being triggered from the past? You know, is it something that belongs to my adult self in today's world? Or is it something that is, needs to be resolved because it's still my five years old that's hanging on to something that I have not resolved and have not dealt with yet? So that would be my second question. You know, is this me in current time or is it my inner child that needs some work? you know, with a specific issue. So if it's me in current time, then, you know, yeah, what, what's going on? What are, what are those feelings? You know, what is really there? So I'm tracking, when did it start? Oh yeah, someone said this, you know, and it, it tricked me, you know, it, it, it triggered me in some ways, or wow, you know, I, I have a lot of sadness, I haven't let myself feel. You know, I'm going to find the space to let myself feel that wave of sadness that, you know, that is mine and that I need to, you know, move through my body and release. So that's how I would, you know, use my current state of being. And then if the answer is, oh, it's actually the five years old that's, you know, needing a reclaiming, that is needing a, a completion. So then I will go in a meditation state, in a visualization state and ask, you know, the, the inner child at the age that it's coming apparent, you know, what, what is being triggered? What do you want me to see? You know, and start having a dialogue with that inner child. 
Is there something, something I need to do for you that needs to be resolved? And then becoming the parent and doing whatever needs to be done. So, you know, I feel like it's really important to be able to track, you know, the core of an emotion uh, of a state, you know, and be organized about it because that's how you can move and become current and um, become, you know, like fresh and, and present in your life. So, you know, looking at, you know, is it the past? Is it a current state that needs to move through my body so it can be released? Or is it something I'm picking, picking up from someone else? Maybe your relationship I'm in? Or is it from the collective? And can I just clear that out of my field? So I hope that helps. I'm sending you so much love in these amazing times. Keep the light shining bright. Aloha.